Not everyone has the budget for a super high-end graphics card the likes of something like this. Some people rely on the integrated GPU that's built into their motherboard or their CPU or their APU or whatever processor they have on their board to get them through their basic gaming requirements. This is a roundup where we're going to take Trinity, AMD's new A10 and A8 series processors on the FM2 platform and go head to head with Intel's Ivy Bridge Core i3 on their LGA 1155 platform to find out who wins when it comes to your value gaming dollar. For our showdown, we're featuring the F2A 85X UP4 from Gigabyte. This has an all new power delivery system that's gonna enable the maximum overclocks while maintaining cool temperatures, which is obviously, again, better for overclocking, not only on the CPU portion of your APU, but also on the GPU portion where they've built in dedicated digital power circuitry in order to make sure you get the most performance possible. Now you've got dual channel DDR3, you've got five four pin, fan headers, you've got USB 3, 6 SATA 3, 6 gigabit per second ports, as well as support for dual higher end graphics cards in Crossfire, should you so desire. Don't forget as well, if you're not quite happy with the integrated GPU performance numbers we're about to show you, you can add a low end AMD Radeon graphics card in that top PCIe slot and actually get a slight performance boost as well. Another cool feature about AMD's new onboard graphics is the fact that it supports three displays out concurrently in you know what you might call iFinity, say for example, if you were into AMD terminology, um, without even adding a dedicated graphics card. Now AMD, yeah, they've got better turbo boost technologies, they've got a faster CPU, they've got a way better GPU built into their new APU, but since AMD first released their APUs on the FM1 socket, Intel has also refreshed their integrated graphics. So our contender here is the i3-3220, this is an Ivy Bridge processor, and we have paired it up just for the sake of demonstrating that it wasn't held back by the motherboard with an Asus Maximus 5 formula Thunder FX motherboard in order to see which one of these comes out on top. Now let's find out how the all new Trinity Architecture APUs perform. We picked two super mainstream titles and ran a variety of different setups to find out how things go down. So first is up is Call of Duty Black Ops. So we've got our two new Trinity APUs. This is the 5800K, sorry about that B there, and the A8 5600K, they top the chart. So the A10 is clocked faster on the CPU and has a more powerful GPU with more functional units. It gets 40 FPS. This is a very playable experience for that matter. So is 36.4. As soon as we go down to a 3770K, bearing in mind this is a CPU that costs a lot more than our APU, we drop down to 27.2. Now the CPU on a 3770K is much more powerful than the pile driver cores on the Trinity APU. But because the graphics core here is so much more powerful than what's here with the HD 4000 graphics, well, you can see the difference in performance, and this is very noticeable when you're actually playing. It dips and it jerks and it chugs. The 3570K falls yet again a little bit because it's a slightly slower CPU core on that one, but still with HD 4000 graphics. And finally, our 3220 integrated GPU performs less than half as well in a real world scenario compared to the new Trinity APU. Next up is Dirt 3, and we see a very similar story where even the faster CPU performance, this is entirely GPU bound, even at the very low preset. Even with the faster CPU performance on that 3770K, there's almost no difference from a 3220 to a 3770K when they're using their onboard Intel HD graphics. Both of our new APUs demolish them basically double the performance. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. That's the end of the slideshow, in case you didn't notice. If you are looking for a budget gaming machine, okay? You want to play games on your integrated graphics card. Looks like this is pretty much the way to go, folks. Thanks for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and we'll see you next time in Integrated GPU Wars.